Alrighty, what's going on guys? I'm Solo Bennett and welcome back to Tropico 6. So, today's video is most likely going to be a little bit shorter. I just don't have that much time on my hands today. Um, and because the decorating part of this th th this game, when I get to it, is going to be pretty long. So I really need to sit down and uh, make sure I have the time to do that. But in today's video, I'm just going to be kind of... Uh, just going over what we've done so far have a look at a few stats and uh, do some little bits and bobs and uh, I'm also going to uh, probably redo all of the section down here and find a new home for the power because I just don't like how it is it's all sloppy and really messy so our stats are looking fairly good we're making good money so even though we got rid of all those industries and we dropped down from uh, what was it? We dropped down from like a hundred and hundred and thirty, hundred and forty k a freighter. We've gone down to just under one hundred and twenty thousand, I think it is, and a few other freighters as well in between. So the money is okay, and it's still going up fairly fast. If I go ahead and put it on four times, it goes up really fast. So it's uh, it's definitely working. The new area was definitely a good move uh, there's another freighter coming in right now most likely not going to be getting much from this oh no you're around 70 yeah around 70k it's it's fairly good see 111k from that one i'm not doing any trader outs 71k there so i'm making good money i'm still making good money i've already made almost half a million just starting this video right now so i'm just going to let that play its way through so i had a funny comment right there's a guy i can't remember your name dude um, I could probably pop it up on screen. Um, <laughs> he was talking about the economy and how uh, everyone is taking like six months to to get to their workplace, and he was right. So, if you this is, this is the thing that I kind of hate about this game, and it's the fact that the some of the things just don't work. So, if you want to make a cool, a, a beautiful city, you kind of can't. It's not uh, practical. Now, it'll look cool, but it's not going to be very efficient because your expenses are going to overrun your uh, revenue because people just take so long to get back and forth to work. So if you've only got a pretty area over here and everyone's living there, but all of your work stuff is over here with no homes, it's going to take you so long to actually make any money. The time they get to work, they're going to finish work, so they're not going to be making much. Uh, that's why I've gone ahead and added, uh, way back, I added housing pretty much near every single industrial zone that I've built. That way the people that work there will also live there and just provide the basics so all of the needs are pretty much tended for. And uh, everything's all good. But yeah, yeah, he went ahead and mentioned that. Um, but I already knew that I'd taken care of those things. So at the time, the two videos from yesterday weren't out. So he, he didn't obviously have any, have any idea that I'd already done that. I let him know that I'd already done that, so it's not much of an issue. Also, uh, the other, one of the other guys let me know that pay TV is one of the best to use, so I'm going to be using that. I've placed them in pretty much all areas where I have uh, housing to try and boost that, and it's it's working out pretty well. Also, the other thing the guy mentioned which made me laugh, he goes, Oh, bruh, it looks like your economy is about to crash, but, you know kudos for sticking in there and giving it everything kind of thing he didn't word it like that but you know I, I understood what he meant and it was funny because you know there was a point in this video and there were, I was panicking I was like oh shit this ain't going too well I think I might have to might have to restart because it was it was not looking good and this is why I always say to people who play this game I, I said all over reddit people say oh I'm bankrupt 200,000 should I start again people are like yeah, yeah yeah start again learn from your mistakes i always say no don't learn from your mistakes because uh, uh don't reset because you won't learn from your mistakes okay restarting the game is not going to teach you anything except failure so what happens there is you will go and reset the game and you'll go and repeat the exact same mistake because you didn't learn how to deal with it in the first place and i wasn't panicking that much because i'd already dealt with the situation before and i knew that i could get the economy back up and running and get things moving uh, as I am testing this out in a separate server as well on a different map just to test things out 
and I don't think I've mentioned that before but I think everybody should have a test city just to try these things out see what works see what doesn't work and uh, all that good stuff so with that said thank you you guys for your uh, advices so far throughout this entire series and your little tips and tricks it's honestly helped me out a lot and probably saved me a ton of time uh, researching and all of that frustrating stuff so it's been really helpful um, and it's been a lot of fun making this series so far so like I said in this one we're going to be rebuilding this section here now I'm not too worried about uh, having it this far out anymore I think I will possibly move it I was gonna move it here but it might be a little bit too close to this area I'm not too sure I'm gonna have to test it out see if it is too close but I think it might be a little bit too close so what I might do is I might actually put it behind here and turn this little section here into the military style area because it's got a little little uh, little mountainous piece around it so it kind of protects it from the main city and I think it'll look pretty cool that way I can move all of the power plant stuff and get it way out of the way and I might put it all the way over here as I don't plan on using this area over here for pretty much anything I've also got a bunch of stuff I need to take care of also such as these which will be running out fairly soon so I don't really want to like I said the whole the whole point of this one is to focus on uh, self-sustaining self businesses so none of the deposits and oils and stuff that I can run out of materials where I'd have to import I don't want to do that I just want to have it so I'm creating an income while not having to spend hardly anything if you know what I mean so with that said I'm gonna go ahead and start moving things around now I'm actually gonna move these first because I want to get rid of the power plants even though the nuclear power plant is really good it uh, it's a little bit bad for what I want to try and do in this game so I will put these there's a little bit of a section over here which we can place them all in so I think I might do that I might make yeah actually I might make some separate areas I'm also going to have to create a road for all of these I'm pretty sure go ahead and move these over um, just for right now I'm gonna do a just a straight line and my approval rating as you guys know my approval rating was like uh, it was like 34 two episodes ago and I did I did both of those episodes yesterday I'm gonna pause the game really quick um, I did both of those episodes yesterday back to back so I think we did pretty good man it's getting up there but in this game it always drops back down so I gotta prepare for that when it does happen don't know how long it's gonna take before that does happen but if we can keep it as high as possible for as long as possible then that's gonna be good because then we don't have to worry about constantly fixing other stuff we can just focus on the main part of the game and making that money so uh, I'm gonna get another one to go there please don't freeze there we go All right, which one is getting moved I just moved that one right okay just need to see which ones are getting moved where I also think I'm gonna have to connect oh I can get one there too I'm gonna have to connect a road all the way back there I'm pretty sure this one over here I don't think I'm gonna get another one yeah I'm not gonna get another two back there oh wait I screwed that up actually I kind of like that with the gaps I'm gonna leave it with the gaps I don't think it's too much of an issue we are also going to need one of these so we'll go ahead and pop one just there and that should that should connect to everything right I'm pretty sure it should go ahead and quick build that real quick ok 
Okay. I also need to get rid of the coal plant. And that's going to suck up a bunch of electricity too. So the second one... How many did we have there? So we had... You know what? I'm going to change the shape of this just a little bit more. So I'm going to... I'm going to bring this out to about there. So hard to tell where it was. Okay, so if I go there. It's a gap of one in between. I can move this one back to there. Just so we've got gaps amongst all of it. Uh, I kind of like having the gaps like that. I can fill them in with stuff later, so it just gives me stuff to do, which I like. So the second one, because I want to have a second one as well, I think I might put that one... I could probably put it above it. No, I'm going to put... I know what I'm going to put up there. I'm going to put the second one somewhere like over here. Just out of the way. And I will have to buy a couple more. But that's okay because I was in the market to buy some more anyway. As we are getting quite low on power. So we have, how many do we have over there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one. Two. And we'll just go ahead and buy the other power plants. One, two. Oh crap, what are we hitting? Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I just need to get these down, quick build them, and then I will move them to try and mimic the other one that we have as well. So I'll start with you. And I'm going to go right there. you like that obviously this is going to be extremely wasteful I don't really need to do this to be fair but I would I would prefer to do it just so everything looks somewhat similar um, crud I can't remember how I done it on this side gap of two there. Ah, screw it. We'll just keep them all different. doesn't have to be exactly the same. Let's go ahead and pop this one. Oh gosh, you're a pain, ain't you? I'm going to actually go like this. Move you. See, I can't go any further up there, which is a bit of a nuisance. This is so confusing right now. Wait, no, that was in the right spot. What the hell? Oh, it's this one. spot? I think so. I think it is. Just enough so I can I can fill roads in there if I need to. What the hell? I did not move you across that way, game. Holy crap. Forward, right there. There we go. Now it should be okay. 
So yeah, I can, I can put roads in between all of those and kind of wiggle them around a bit. So I don't think I need roads, but I'm probably going to add roads just to, just to keep it looking pretty cool. So some areas I probably won't be able to get roads, but uh, I'll do the outside first. Damn trees in the way. Okay, I'm just going to run that to there. Bring you down. Just like so. Bring you back up there. You can connect there. bunch of little in and out roads and now we can connect this point from here and we can turn you up into that section there and we could also do something like this Bring this road, bend it over this direction. Try and follow these little paths as much as I can. The roading system in this kind of does suck. It's a little bit tricky to place everything how you would how you would like to place them. Um, it, it, it's a bit wonky, but it's. It's workable. It's definitely workable. It's not too much of an issue. Now for this one, it's not as uh, roomy. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to... Oh gosh. I'm not going to be able to do all of the roads connecting. So I'll just do something that... Oh gosh. That looks okay. but is not really functional. Bring you up. Uh, you can go to there. Won't worry about that back section. Just leave it like that. That should be more than enough. And bring you like that. too tight of a turn. No, that's fine. And we can link this road into this one as well. Just like that. So now that's all linked up. Brings it all the way around here to that one. This one comes through to here. Now, we need to get rid of you, you, and you. And we're going to leave the coal. I'm not too worried about the coal. So that solves that issue. Okay. Now. Delete that road. Just make some room. That's what I want to do first. So. Start at the back and we'll go as far as we possibly can. And then. Uh, I don't know if I should follow contour because if I do I'm gonna get some funky looking shapes so I think I'm just going to play it safe and just do it like that for now then we, all we have to do is go ahead and place down the buildings that we want to place over there so I'll start with the biggest ones and I'm gonna put those Probably closer to the back. Just like that. I'm not too worried about this area, to be honest, uh, as it's only... <coughs> it's like a... It's all my military stuff, so I don't really have a use for it outside of 
it being military stuff. So, like I said, not too fussed about it. Now, does this have to be a specific angle or what? Terraforming in this game would be so sick. It would change this game. Um, bit of a funky little shape. Now the thing I really hate about this game is that every time you demolish, or uh, every time you move a business, the workers get fired. So you've got to wait for the, all the businesses to refill up. It's such a pain. I don't know why that's even a thing, to be honest. Alrighty, can we fit you in there? No, we cannot. But we can fit you that way. It's actually a fairly nice looking building. Might put that... Uh, I'll place it there. It's actually quite a nice looking building. Gonna go ahead and move the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> Ministry of Information, but call it whatever we want. This one's a fairly nice building too. It's quite large though. Um, let's go that way. We've got a funky little shape there. We'll just place it that way. Can't re relocate this building when people are on a mission. I don't have any missions going. Oh, I do. Oh, well, cancel you. Okay, I gotta wait for that one. Kind of a pain because I wanted to make that like the center bit, but I guess not. Oh, maybe we still can because that one fits quite snug right there. Pretty good actually. It's fitting quite nicely. I'll take that as center, right there. Which means I have to redo this road here. I might do something here as well. Uh, let's go something like... So that's... One, two, three... Um... Just because there's so much room to to move around in with this game. It's too much of a funky bend there, so we'll go to there. Now I'll bend it to there. Connect it there. Alright. Also going to run... A road connect it to there and back again now I'm just going to put like little uh, gardens and stuff in those just to fill up the filler space just so it feels a bit more larger than what the map and the surroundings really is because at the moment it is you know it, it's pretty much what everyone uh, everyone's map is and that's just empty <laughs> for the most part uh, we're gonna put these guys on this side so we will go one there I think I have some other ones down here right oh I've got the tank place I completely forgot about that okay that's all right and I've got that one there Actually might bring this from here. Just like that. Bring that around. I'm gonna have to do something on this piece here, in that center piece. Go ahead and delete these roads. I'm gonna make a little section for the prisons too, I think. I'm not going to need power there. So I'm going to put the tanks up by the prisons. 
And then we're kind of just stuck with those two buildings right there. Like always, it's that the dang ministry building. Whatever it's called. Ministry of Education. It's always the building that we have issues with. It has been since we started, man. It's such a pain. Is this finished yet? How, how long do we have to wait? Oh, we can just cancel it like that. My bad. It's going to be a gap here by one, which is a bit of a pain. But we can deal with that. That's, yeah, it's not much of an issue. So we're just really left with these four buildings here. So, oh, we also need to connect this road up to this road. So I'm just going to bring a straight road all the way down the center just to keep it in line with this one up here. And I'm going to bring this one up here also. And then I'm going to bring it up even more. Here we go. Get a nice bend. That should be a fine. We're going to go ahead and put the prisons over there, so I'm going to do that first, just so I can figure out how much room I've got. Can't place anything on that side, so there is as far as I can place that way. This actually might affect my approval rating, moving bu buildings like this around. And then this one is also on a weird angle. So since they're on such strange angles, I'm going to place them on strange angles so they can kind of line up. So I'm going to put one there. I'm actually going to get another prison. Uh, where are we? Prisons. Here we go. And we're going to place one opposite this one as well. Just like so. And then we are going to remove that road. And bring it out like this. And then bring this one back into itself just like that and then we'll put something in there it's not much I could really do with that just want to keep it out of the way uh, and then we have the tanks now I uh, the tanks are a bit of a tricky one because the so, it's so large I could probably put it here uh, if I can center it properly so it's one two three four one two three four five so it's, it needs to be one longer so if I go one, two, three, four, five, if I go there and I demolish these roads really quick, so we get one, two, three, four, five, and then go six for the road. Then that should be uh, that should be right, right? Five and five, yeah. Good. I can still add the little centerpiece and I can connect that back up to there. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, so, like I said, every time you go ahead and move buildings, the buildings empty out all of a sudden. So, you've got to go ahead and hire people back in. But I don't know if you actually can get workers back in because the, um,. The population is so freaking high, I'm already starting to struggle. So, I'm gonna go re education program, put that onto there. Alrighty. And this road will come all the way down here. 
make sure it's nice and straight. And I will go there. And just like that. Alright, so we have a little... Actually, can we get this road any closer to the... Uh, to the beach. Kind of goes all wonky, which you don't like. Yeah, kind of don't like that wonkiness, but it's alright. It's just to get to here, so it's not that much of an issue. Which leaves us with this dang ministry building. Now, can we place this building? Of course not. <laughs> Everything would have to be shifted over, shifted over by one. The only other option is I. No, that won't make any difference. Ugh, I hate this building. I honestly do. Okay, where can we dump this thing? Where can we hide it? Out of the way, where no one's gonna be bothered by it. I think we could probably pop pop it over here somewhere. Possibly. It lines up with this, so. I wonder if we... Oh, wrong one. I wonder if we put it at the front here. Because it lines up with this. This is literally the only thing it seems to line up with. So... Maybe if we put it... There. We can... these ones off for now just testing to see what I can do just seeing how I can work this um, did I mention how much I hate this building? <laughs> it is such a nuisance building man I don't know what to do with it I don't want to demolish it because it's it's quite a helpful building there's gonna be a way we can do this and that could be it right there. Click that bring you back over here sir and we're gonna have to come on, give me the goddamn road. Oh, you gunt! There we go. And bring that down in front, like so. Ideally, would we would want the road to be there, but kind of can't bend it. Oh, we could just do that, and then we could also connect it from this side. But that's not going to be level. But we can just do this. Just to save it, make it look a little bit more decent. Yeah, that's okay. I'm happy with that. We can, all we have to do now is do a little bit of decorating around there. Do some decorating around here. Maybe... If you add another one of these, like this. Maybe not. Uh, we could do... Oh, we can't even do that, because it keeps connecting itself. What if we just go by out by two? And then down. Okay, we can do that. Delete, delete, and delete. Boom, just like that. 
These will all make sense when I go ahead and fill them up. They will look a lot better. And like I said, it should open it up a little bit, give it a bit more variety. How wide is this, by the way? It's four wide, and that is also four wide, so we might be able to do something there too. And... Um... No, we won't square that up. I was going to square this up. I s yeah, actually, maybe I should. So if I square this up, I can bring it up to here. And I can end it. Oh, I can end it off there. And then I can still square this off like so. Why is that crooked? What's crooked? Oh, gosh. That's crooked. What are you doing, Road? Get up there. Oh my goodness. Connect to there. Stupid thing. Okay. And... Uh, now we've got an issue with this one here. See, this is the thing... Oh my... Would you just go into what I'm trying to go into, you stupid thing? Oh my goodness. that. Now that's still the same. Now I can continue the design all the way up and down this section here and possibly what I could do here is I could create something like this. Leave it disconnected because I don't want people driving on this road and hey I can actually connect those up. Uh, no, because I can't do it on the opposite side as well, so then it would defeat the purpose. I'll leave it like that. Then I can go ahead and use that as kind of like decorating, um, which will be one of the final episodes. It, it's going to be a bit of a doozy, that one. It's going to be a lot of stuff to do. So let's just recap on what we've done. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add some more uh, office blocks and stuff down here because I had, I have some spare workers. So... We've got plenty of time. This is only 37 minutes in. I haven't had any skips. We've already done what we said we were going to do. I've got a little bit of time left. Uh, that has been moved. That looks nice and good. All the roads are in place. I will need to move some of this stuff just to make it look a little bit better. I'll just push it right up against there. Just like so. Don't we have another one down here too? No. We're good. Okay. We've got this spot sorted. That's all ready to be filled up with... Oh, we almost forgot the road. That would help. There we go. We'll fill this area here up all the way through to here. So that'll look pretty cool. And then this road will run off. And we're not going to do anything along this road because it's like a country style road. And then that will lead to this, which is going to need some work. But I uh, will focus on one part at a time. I probably won't even address this one here. I might even redo it because it looks hideous. Uh, I wonder if I can... I really want to use windmills. But the problem is you cannot place them on the areas where you would think a windmill would be perfect, right? The areas where you've got really good efficiency are the places you can't place it but you can place it on the ground with poo poo efficiency <laughs> which is a bit of a pain so we might move it into here because that looks like a cool little spot but for right now i'm happy with the progress let's have a look at our stats and stuff okay overall happiness is 74 food 76 it's not bad Health gear, 79. Fun is 71. Faith, 67. Housing. So everything is in the 60s to 70s. High 60s to mid 70s. 
so I'm happy with that. Uh, everything should almost be into the 80s. I'm going to go ahead and boost everything up shortly, probably when I'm finished. And also cut some of the wages to save on some money where I can. And then I think we're going to be fairly close. I think we're going to be pretty damn close. I'm going to go ahead and praise all these guys really quickly. There we go. So, how many homeless? We only have 25 homeless. So, these ones are not going to be the greatest when it comes to how filled up they are. But, I really want to utilize this area for some more offices and stuff like that. Because I think it could be cool. I think it could really be cool. So... What we will first do is we need to demolish this road just so we can get a fair idea. And also this road is extremely wonky. So we should probably redo this too. Okay, I see why we had the wonkiness. Dang it, road. Okay, if I bring it over by one. What's that on my phone? I don't know. Bring it up again. And then we... I want to turn it right as it gets to the back of here. Like that. And then try and bring it to the center. Which we're not going to get. Because it's, it's off by one. So... Maybe we go like that. And then bend that up again, just like so. And then we'll box this in once we have figured that out. But I want to go ahead and put down some businesses first. I always forget where the office buildings are. So, we have quite a few people that don't have work still. So, we might as well use these because these make quite a bit of money. Um, and with our education system, we're pretty good on the education. So, we can probably make the most of this. I'm going to leave a gap of three. So, I'm just going to do two of the year. I'll do two of the year. Probably not going to be able to place one here unless I place it that way. Hmm. Maybe we bring a road. Somewhere like there. Let's bring that down for a quick minute. Which gives us some spots to place some more. So, question is... kind of off, isn't it? Maybe we just stick to the 2x... Two 2x... By, two by, what is it? 2x3? Two yeah, 2x3. Oh, come on, building. How, how you gotta wait for this thing to demolish? Oh, to disappear. Okay. Come on, place down. There we go. And another one there. We can also mimic that on that one. But we can't do that one there. So we might have to change it up and possibly put that one that way. Go ahead and cancel you. <sighs> Let that do its thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. that down like so. We also could add some, since we are really low on the business things with uh, with workers, we could probably place a couple of these two. I don't really know how good they are, but they look pretty cool. So we'll just go place maybe a couple of them 
like so. Oh, we had one right there. Okay, I'm not going to quick, uh, quick build those just yet. And then go ahead and add some apartments facing this way. like so and one apartment that way okay bring this road up with a gap of let's leave a gap like that should be alright I wonder if we can make that the center right there. We can. But first we need to bend this row to make it all match up. Just like that. So that'll bend through here. It's like a little section. Which will look pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to leave that there. Go ahead and quick build this. We might need to reposition some of these two because they might be facing the wrong direction. Go ahead and get these quick built. Right. Oh, that's right. So you can add. I'm just going to add whatever one. I'm pretty sure they just they they do something with money. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but we are just going to place those down like so. Actually, we will put down another two of those. I'm gonna move all these, so don't worry, because I don't like them already. They, they look cool, but they are not in the right position. What was that? Okay. There we go. So I'm going to check my standings real quick. Okay, we're okay. Alright, how are we going to position these things? Because we've got a boat coming in there. We don't really want to block this up too much. I wonder if we can fit these over here try and get them all perfectly lined up all five of them I think we'll get this is probably going to be the last one we're going to better get here oh dang it it looks pretty cool too please 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 oh you suck okay so we know how far we can go that way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one there I'm going to move all of these towards that one just like so I don't know if there's a trick to these buildings. If you have the, if you, if you've got to have them in a specific position, or is it good to have them close? Is it bad to have them close? I don't know. But it looks like it does uh, income this month, so they generate an income. Oh, that's good. It's an income. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust these buildings really quick. Go ahead and do those. Nice job quality. I'll do that. Uh, I will deliver an amazing speech. Uh, we were just going to go and thank these fellas over here and do that. Get out of my face. There we go. We still have big issues with this building. And this building with people constantly quitting and, and dying and all that fun stuff. So I'm not even bothered with those ones right now. 
and I'm actually going to hey that would kind of look cool right if we could bring that bridge all the way across that would look pretty sick hey you know what we could probably do that here we could link this road up to here let's just have a look eh? let's just see how that looks So if we pull this road off somewhere like this, uh, come on, give me a straight, give me a straight, give me a straight. Ooh. Uneven terrain. Oh, it's because those stupid rocks, if I brought it over to here, it would probably work, but because it's well, crooked. Yeah, see, I can bring it across like that, but if you go over these rocks here, it does not work. I could do it here. I could also do it there. But then it also would not make any sense because this is kind of going straight through it. But it would look cool. It would look pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put this road back. There we go. These guys are okay. These always these always do this. So I'm not too worried about it. How many workers do we got left? A hundred unemployed still. So since we have so much unemployed, all I'm going to do now is really increase the. Uh, the businesses that I already have. Can I get any roads back here? No, I don't want to put one there. I could probably work these all around this way. How can we do this? See, I can pop him right there. But there's no, there's no way for a road. I can also put one there. Then again, there's also no space for a road. Let's just go like this for now. And see what we can do. Yeah, it's going to cut into the forest a teeny bit, but I can live with that. And I'm not going to put one there. Also, I'm going to add another one of these. And I will place it uh, place it like so. Go ahead and get those quick built. Righty. Do that. Do that. Now, hasty debugging increases the log consumption by 30%. Nah, I'm not too worried about that. And this one, crank you up. Do that. Do that. That'll give us more workers to produce more boats. Now, I could upgrade this to welding plant, but I'm not producing. The materials to be used for that so it's a bit of a rip there but that's okay i'm looking i think it's looking good i'm liking it so far so we're sitting currently at 97 percent approval rating we have a two percent disagree with us and two are on the fence which is pretty good we've got a new little section here for our money making and a few buildings we've got a few more things we might add along here just to fill it up a little bit uh, then I will most likely do something over here. Uh, let's just go like that. Bring that back up. Like so. Do a little garden thing there. And I think that is pretty much it, guys. We are 
really close to being pretty much filled up with all of our workers in the businesses we want. We just have to get rid of now. We just got to get rid of the oil. We have to get rid of all of the mines and replace all of those mines. We actually might have enough. 85 workers left. We might have enough to make a third industry. I don't know. It's going to be a little bit tricky. We, we could possibly try for a third industry uh, zone. But I don't know. We still have positions that are not filled. Such as these ones here. So... Go crank that up too. And... Um, yeah, maybe we refill all the job positions first. And then as soon as every job position is full, we'll go ahead and figure out what we're going to do from there but i think it's looking good we have finally got some little zones all we have to do now is the part which is going to take up a lot of time which is what we did over here uh which is adding adding in all of the little details like these putting all, all the little planters and, and fountains and all that good stuff and it takes so long to do but when it's done it looks so good honestly it does this area i hardly come over here because it's it's completed, it works, everything's good, I don't have any issues, there's hardly any fires, hardly any crime, it's doing really well. Um, so I want to replicate that throughout the other side of the map, and you know, because at the moment it's, it's pretty much bare bones, there's so much room to add a lot of stuff, and the game is probably going to crash on me a million times when I do it, but it's all part of the fun. So. With that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We have once again smacked out a lot of stuff in this video. I wasn't expecting to do that much, but we got it looking fairly decent. Once again, got it all ready to go for the final bits. And uh, I think we'll probably have one more episode before I go ahead and do about two episodes, maybe just one, of adding in all of the uh, decorating stuff. And then, yeah, see what we can do from there. But uh, that's enough from me today. I'm Solar Bandit. If you guys enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and any future content. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.